podcasting. Hello, welcome to another. Did you hear that? He said drones. <laughs> Thrones, darling. <laughs> He's cute. You're okay. And today again we have the Mishki. She's busy um licking everything. <laughs> so busy. Busy doing the licks. So we're carrying on from where we left off yesterday. <sighs> yeah. Continue, eh? So we continue on the King's Road this time. Oh, didn't we already do this bit? <laughs> you turn it down a bit though, it's very loud. Shush, Mr. Shush! Stop barking at the horsey. You're ruining it. So loud. Okay, yeah, we didn't do Let's this bit. Let's play a game, shall we? Did oh, you know Ramsey. Wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't okay, make it so easy. I guess don't pick for too long, otherwise you'll get bloody spotted. Noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. Do you have to do anything? How much further is it? These I mean, but is there actually anything to do, though? Uh, a day, my lord. Or are you just watching? What was that? My lord? Shh! Listen! Has he figured out we're here? There. Oh, it's a horse. Right? That? Sounds like it's a horse that he's heard. I know I heard something. Stay still. I reckon he won't find you. Never mind. Yeah. We've wasted We're enough time. We're totally not dead. <laughs> Puppy is not happy at all the horses. She's getting really irate and will bark momentarily. Probably. Oh, cool. Do we get to save him? We should do. Bloody hell! His skin flayed off, which is super nice when you think about it. I'm being sarcastic, darling. <laughs> Lord Ethan, as I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But. Three hundred generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He 
He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. And what would they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trust sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new lord sentinel must be chosen. to survive! Lord Ethan. Missed. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! What? We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Is what Sir Royland said true? Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Go. Oh, Puppy does not oh, like Ethan, the violence. I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Calm yourself. Yeah. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit well, what it. What to do again? Be harsh. Send him to the wall. Or be lenient. You could just keep sending everyone to the wall. That's still a pretty shit punishment. Give us justice. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers! If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. For real? Please, my lord. Fingers. My wall. family depends we'll on you. mercy. I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the night's watch. No, please, my lord! My At least family. you didn't get the option Without of killing me. Oh, got another trophy, a Lord's Judgment. Well, we did do some lord Lordly Judgment, I guess, that's a thing. We did do it, technically. That and everyone's pissed unpleasant, off. unpleasant, but a Lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes, did I do what's right? The wall seems like a fitting place for a thief. I only hope he doesn't find Garrett there and take his anger out on the poor squire. You heard what yeah. the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. But like you? Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. Yeah, one's How do I really decide the thing? And the other one's Talk like, to them. Yeah. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The bracer of the sentinel. The badge of office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Well, who to pick?
Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Who are you going to pick? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring oh, okay. the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life. Or the lives of those you love. Ransom or a robbery? You may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. Come well. on, you dogs! You'll not be fighting here forever! Yes, yeah, so let's go look at some food. Go talk to Duncan. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand the siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No, there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do more. My lord. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider, and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? You. Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. What do you think of Sir Roiland? Do you trust him? He's a fine warrior, my lord, but he's nowhere near ready to serve a sentinel. I do not trust him. He's likely to lose his temper and get us all killed, and at the worst possible time... Yeah, I possible wouldn't choose time... him either, to be honest. I would choose Duncan. Thank you, Duncan. But, again, I for me, the Duncan thing... I'm at your service, my lord. In Dragon Age or Origins, like, your kind of mentor dude is Duncan. So, I, I like the name Duncan a lot. <laughs> And I feel like I need to choose someone called Duncan. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what but you did done. today. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. Uncle, why are you packing? You're not going somewhere, are you? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? 
I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. You promised me you wouldn't change, and I believed you. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. Yeah, the people you've got to kick ass and take names. They need me to, but... That's what you got to do when you're a Lord, right? Ethan, please. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable. I and choose smart, Duncan. And everyone trusts his judgment. I so vote for Duncan. Is unpredictable Joey. and likely to make matters Duncan. worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Let's go pick Duncan. No, Sword up. Sir Royland. Swing left. Sorry, wrong. I did not dodge an old sword. A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do, and it's good you came to me. I know this. And everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Duncan, Duncan. Tuttle is a good man. Yeah, yeah. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being sent to he likes to talk, but now's the time for action. Shut up, Sir Royland. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Can we take Duncan? But Duncan... Was he shouting cash and carry, or did I hear that wrong? Oh, slash and parry. <laughs> I thought it was cash and carry, I'm sorry. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but, oh, you know, don't you? You honor Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. Huh? Yeah. 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 Someday, yeah. I'll have a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Yeah, everyone saw though. Was he our enemy? A bad man? No. Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemy. We must enforce our rules. Talia told me what it means. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. <sighs> yeah, because it's it's a story driven game. You're not supposed to be running around. Though I will say My Lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? <laughs> yeah, pick one. Yes, Maester. 
I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Out of this, and uh, life is strange, I'd probably, if I had to buy one full price to get the rest of the episodes, I'd probably pick Life is Strange. I'm not enjoying this as much as that. I don't know if it's because I'm a girl and watching teenage girls do things like that is interesting because there aren't many games like that. Yeah, this feels very kind of closed off, even for these kinds of games. This one feels you very A or B. I believe Lord Ethan <laughs> has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Can we please pick Duncan? Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Duncan. You have to actually move. Yeah, I was hoping there might be like a third option, like a hidden little third option or something, but I don't think so. Can we pick Duncan, please? That Duncan. Sure. Yeah. Why? Because Saul Roiland is like a twat, to be honest. He's just... Jump off their heads! And I don't like it. Yeah, it is Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Yeah. Tuttle! This... This is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. Yeah. Roiland will, will remember that. I will not it. disappoint you, my lord. Now, Ooh. Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no oh, time shit. to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. Let Sir Roiland speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say, Sir Roiland. No, no. You chose your Sentinel. <laughs> Wrong choice. Sir Roiland is clearly <laughs> able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! I would pick diplomacy if it was me, but... Hey, hey. You gotta pick one. I know, but still you should pick one. My new sentinel favours a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance, and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Well, get ready. Doesn't Ethan mean you can't be ready. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well Aye. then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. 
Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Oh, for God's Let sake. Him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I will meet him at the gate. Really? Very good, my lord. Why would you do that? Men, we hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this See, house. See, even when you do what he You're wants, he doesn't like you. Killed. There's no point Sit doing what he wants. At once. If you do stuff with Duncan, at least things get done. This way you're pissing everybody off. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate. And we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. <sighs> Maybe I should have taken the controller when you offered it to me earlier. My lord. I don't you like your choices, your sentinel, they're bad. But you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father's... But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something oh, we could use. Shit. You're a thinker, Ethan. You contemplate, and a lord needs that. But a lord also needs swords. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. So what, what this approach family are you going to have, though? Ethan. Let me send Malcolm to Are you Essos. actually going to bother to try and negotiate? Because that's the thing that you said you were going to do. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Mm. Know that you never stand alone. You are the thing a is, like, Mira if you offer the Ironwood straight away, it's very, um... He doesn't feel like he's earned it. If it comes up in a in talks later, then it feels like he's got that from you. Yeah. So just from my perception of don't offer it straight away, make him feel like he's achieved something. Whereas if you offer it to him straight away, he will then want more. So. Yeah, but also this is a place where, you know, if you're in power and you're greeting people of power you have to treat them a certain way you can't be nasty otherwise they'll um get really pissed off to put it nicely because it's uh, an insult basically to make people wait
She looks really weird when she's moving, though. Why didn't you take the key? Marjorie? Probably should oh. have taken the key. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to get a chance look, to pick it back up. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. Thank you, Sarah. But I have to do this myself. <laughs> it's a very nice way, way to uh, Lady Marjorie is always her, saying guess. how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know I will be here for you if you ever. Ooh, Lady Marjorie. Your character models look so weird, like especially because she's got an open back. It's My just lady, really weird. I'll leave you to talk. Are you all right, my lady? Did you sell her out? The king was not inclined you to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I yeah. allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing yeah, I said could Joffrey. cheer him. He's a fucking dickhead what anyway. can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. I like the name Mira. It's quite sweet. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must oh, send yeah. a raven. Still I have to warn my Jeffrey. family. Joffrey? If you'll excuse Jeffrey. me, my lady. Joffrey. Well, that didn't work. No. Now she's got to go tell all her family that she, you know, fucked up. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like, and your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all yes. sorts of things, things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. I'm yes, sorry. We do. I, I really must go. Stop Please it, don't Mira. Despair. I know Let people help who... you. Let him help you. People who'd be willing to help you. Oh, I did wonder why he ran. <laughs> I don't think he's supposed to be there, like, at all. Even though he turned up before and, like, put some coal down or something, I don't think he's supposed to be there. I kind of half expected that, uh, soldier to just stab her. Just, you know, because you know the way Joffrey is. He just Where's takes Roy? pleasure in annoying people and the man hurting people pride for no reason. More than honor. Oh, sorry. Hit ya. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us. But I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Mm. Alton men approaching, my lord! I don't think so. You've got Ramsay to deal with, so. Now you've got to make him wait. Something wrong with your gate? And piss him off.
Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? You're welcome inside, but your men are not. Did you what? hear that, man? The <laughs> Lord of the House says, Fuck off. I think he's afraid of you. Wait here. For now. I think the actor who played, um... Ramsey is actually pretty good. A token he was in a for the new warden well, of the north. The English misfit show. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. What do you think? <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, Not the choice can I your lot picked, do this? But okay. Given enough time, we could. Uh... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. I see now why they call it ironwood. It's as strong as iron, but it's actually wood. So. Quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. Oh, <laughs> he's got us figured out. I don't like Ramsey. Like, even on screen, though, he always made me really nervous. Just because he was so unpredictable. Look at that! More Forrester. Lord Ramsey? Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. Leave them be, Lord Ramsay. Ah, worried about your family. As you should be. <laughs> I'm the Lord. I'll have you speak only with me. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord uh, Bolton. So, you gonna kneel or not? Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. Yeah. I think you should kneel. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The crown, however, oh, wants bollocks. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They oh, murdered fuck's sake, him again. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your justified? man lived. Our men are dead. Yours lived. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The ironwood? But that is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't fucking do mate, that, Ramsey. Why not? <laughs> you know something the White Hills don't? Yes. We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. The White Hills had ironwood once, but now those hills are bare. Hence the name. 
Of course. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. Look at their sigil, my lord. A barren hill. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. Mm-hmm. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your wall. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the King's peace. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. How did they get in? You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twin. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. <laughs> you want to know what that means? I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. <gasps> lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like Hunter? Let her go. Oh no. She's quite pretty. Do you remember how they Your kind of sister. like introduced Ramsay? We they were hunting a girl well. in the forest. Oh. And they set dogs on her and everything. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? <laughs> oh, Ethan! No! What have you done oh, now? We're fucking no! dead. But I don't Ethan! want the bold no! lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 Even though you did bend the knee. <laughs> I think we've come to an understanding. Lord Ethan! I certainly feel Ethan! better about all this. Ethan. What have you done? However, the foresters need well, to keep their... Who are we supposed to play in the next episode? Ethan's gonna die. Ethan! Take the body of your mom. Go! Kill him. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mason quickly! You brought this on yourself. How the hell did we bring it on our second? Let it go! Let it go. It was just Ramsey Snow. Everything else has been different. Remember right! Do something! My son. Yep. Very dead now. So, well. I think that was a forced choice. Doesn't matter if you bend the knee or not. No, yeah, it's a forced choice. I remember watching something about it, where it's like literally, no matter what you do, he's pissed off of you anyway, and he can't oh, be in the next episode. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord well, Ethan named me. Ethan the brave. I will <laughs> lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forester above all other loyalties. Jump Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Uh... Okay, well, let's see what we got. 
34.2% and us left Bowen behind. Who was Bowen? The guy who died in the beginning. Oh, yeah, you you could have, yeah. Okay, you and 62.4% swore loyalty. You and 35.4% sent Eric to the wall. So what else did people do if they didn't send him to the wall? Cut his fingers. Hmm. 69.1 picked Duncan. Told you, Duncan! Uh, met Ramsey at the gate. That's pretty, pretty even. Probably should just get the soldiers and have a fight to be better. Maybe. Well, I guess that's episode one all done. I think... Oh, you kissed me! Oh la la! So, let's uh, buy the season pass apparently. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know if I even want to bother carrying on with that. I'm more interested in Life is Strange. Like, this is kind of interesting, but I don't know how interesting it's going to be. Yeah, I don't think it really will though. Like, it would further down the line. I just don't like stuff with Mira. I think if you did it differently, the stuff with Mira would make more more of an impact further down yeah. the story you get. So, oh well.